Hey guys, I need you to be a bit quiet. I'm back here and I'm about to launch an ebook that I've been working on really hard. In fact, I've been working on this one for months. I'm just about to launch it. Sales will start pouring in. Please, I'm trying to concentrate. Sorry. So, how will I launch this? By writing a post on social media. All right, I'm ready. Let's launch it. I know influencers with more than 20,000 followers who make less than $500 on average when they launch an ebook. Then I know some who make several hundred thousand dollars just in pre sales. I launched an ebook myself recently. It was my first one, but I wanted to try it out. It took me a few evenings to write, and contrary to the intro before, I actually made more than $7,500 in the first week of sales. Today, I still make around $2,500 on it every month. Why do some info products perform well? Why do some perform insane when others seem to go by almost unnoticed? That's exactly what I'm gonna cover in this video. A quick disclaimer though, if you think I'm gonna give you some magic trick that you can go and apply and go out there and make $7,500 out of the blue, you're gonna be disappointed. In fact, you might as well just leave now and go find something more entertaining to watch. On the other hand, if you're curious about what makes the difference and how to actually go about selling an ebook in a world where people on the internet try to stuff ebooks down your throat left and right, then keep watching till the end of this video because I'm gonna explain exactly how to do this the right way. Let's get started. If you're new to my channel, welcome here. I'm Simon and I make money on the internet. I use this YouTube channel to share my experience with creating and selling digital products. So if this is something that interests you, you should totally subscribe to my channel. So, ebooks and online courses, can you really make money from these? Obviously, the answer is yes. And still, most people don't. Let's break this down. The model most people follow goes something like this. You start by narrowing down a topic you want to write about. You spend hours structuring, writing, proofreading, and perfecting. You make a lot of research because you're selling this. You don't want people to pay for something that's not correct, which is why you double check every other sentence. I also know a lot of ebook writers that use the process of writing an ebook as the perfect learning opportunity. A great opportunity to dig deep into a topic and learn a lot about it along the way. At some point, the work is done. You upload it on Coursera, Udemy, or Gumroad, and you share the link on social media. And you make almost no money at all. Why? How do Wes Boss, Adam Othon, and Kent C. Doss make millions on their ebooks and courses? Is it because they have a lot of followers? Not really. In fact, they have a lot of followers for the same reason their products do well. Yes, you guessed it. Because they're good at marketing, distribution, and knows how to sell. And that's the part most ebook creators completely leave out. They spend hours writing, and then they almost leave it up to random chance whether someone is gonna buy it or not. When top sellers make a lot of money from their info products, it's because they spend a lot of time preparing the launch every single time. They spent years building community, creating and owning their sales channels, building email lists, attending conferences and spreading awareness, preparing and running paid advertisement, creating affiliate programs for their products, and most importantly, they have been sharing knowledge and giving away for free for a long time before starting to ask for people's money. And I know exactly what you're thinking. I'm out. Info products is never gonna be my thing. Might as well just stop this video right now. But wait, I know where you're coming from. There's so much work needed to become that successful. But let's back up here. Maybe we don't need to make millions. As said, I made more than $7,000 in the first week from my ebook and two and a half thousand dollars per month ongoing. That's also pretty good now that I'm not a full-time ebook author or course creator. And the great thing about it is, you can do it as well. It still takes a lot of work, but realistically, you can do it. So, here it goes. Let me break down how I did this, how I spent my time, 
how much it cost, and most importantly, which strategy I used to make sure that I actually sold copies of this ebook. So, for those of you who don't already know, I'm a software developer and startup CEO, and before creating my own tech startup, I've been working in sales and as a freelance software engineer. And the ebook I created and sold is called JavaScript in the Industry, and is a collection of best practices and tips on how to write industry-level JavaScript based on my experience from the real world. So, first of all, let's take a look at the finances. While you can write and launch an ebook without any expenses, you're definitely gonna get further if you allocate a budget to get you going. It doesn't have to be a lot of money. Here's the financial breakdown of the first week. Expenses. For creating the ebook, I spent $47 on this cool ebook cover and $52 to have the book proofread for grammar mistakes and typos. As some of you may have picked up already, English is not my native language. Both of these services were bought on Fiverr. For marketing, I spent $182 to have the ebook promoted on a popular Instagram account with almost a million followers, and I spent around $250 to run paid ads on Facebook and Twitter. So, in total, I spent $531 preparing and marketing the ebook. In the first week of sales, I sold the ebook on a discounted launch offer for $19 and an offer of $9 for a group of selected people. And I sold 480 copies, which resulted in $7,985 of gross revenue. Subtract the expenses and a few fees, this resulted in just around $7,450 of profit. So. Let's take a look at how I spent my time. As I mentioned, I spent well about 16 hours writing the ebook. It's 71 pages long and includes a lot of illustrations. I created a website and integrated Stripe checkout for payment. I spent around 10 hours on that. Creating email launch offers and drips. This took around four hours. I'll go into details about this in a little bit. And then I spent four hours on additional marketing efforts. This includes arranging and creating a promoted post with an Instagram influencer and a couple of other ad hoc things. So in total, I spent 40 hours creating and launching this ebook. As you may have noticed, I actually spent more time on marketing and distribution than I did creating the ebook. This leads me to the first important tip I want to give you. Don't use this as an opportunity to learn something new. It is probably the worst occasion you can pick. If you want to learn something, great. But there are much better occasions for this. Remember, you're writing an ebook to sell. You're trying to do business here. Don't unnecessarily wear yourself down mentally by trying to learn something new. Instead, pick a topic that you're so familiar with that you would almost write an ebook about it in your sleep. You want the book to write itself. Do not spend a lot of extra energy on this part. This is exactly what I did. Just because I only spent 16 hours writing it doesn't mean it's a bad book. In fact, I get incredible feedback on it. It just means that I picked a topic that I've been occupied with for the past 10 years. A topic I can write an ebook about without having to look up a single thing. If you're like most people looking into writing an ebook, especially if you're in the tech space, you probably haven't spent a lot of time doing marketing before. Save your energy for that instead. This is where you should challenge yourself. So, before you start writing your ebook, ask yourself a couple of questions. What are your acquisition channels? How are you planning on reaching people? Simply posting on your social media profile probably won't make the cut, even if you have thousands of followers already. So, let's take a look at a few options. Influencer marketing. Set up agreements with other influencers and have them spread the word. You may already know a few. Start by reaching out to them. You can also reach out to influencers you don't know and ask them for a sponsor deal. It's pretty straightforward. You pay influencers to make promoted posts about your product, either by agreeing on a fixed price or by offering them a cut of each sale they produce. So, when you know the topic you'll be writing about, find 10 or more professional influencers in that niche and line up a deal with them in advance. Keep them in the loop. Another option is to do a pre-launch. Maybe you already do have a follower base in the niche you're writing in, that's great. But it still takes more than a single post saying, ah, I launched an ebook. You want to start talking about this ebook way before you actually launch it. And you want to do a so-called pre-launch. A pre-launch is when you start charging people for the product before it's done on a discounted offer. This is great for various reasons. First of all, you get to test the waters and see if there's even interest in what you're writing. If none or only very few people are gonna buy the product at pre-launch, probably it's not even worth wasting time on. Secondly, this gives you a great opportunity to spread hype. Spend a good amount of time before finally launching, talking about the product. Share details about the process, share screenshots, small bits, get people hyped up about it. If you spent one to two months creating suspense before finally launching it, it will get much, much more traction. Then there's my personal favorite, 
Retargeting existing leads. This is exactly what I did. Three months before I launched JavaScript in the industry, I created a quick ebook and gave it away for free. Basically, I just collected all the code snippets I had spent a year sharing on Twitter and LinkedIn and put them all together in an ebook. It took me less than two hours to make and during the next three months, more than 10,000 people picked it up. I mean, people really like free stuff. But this is an excellent strategy for two reasons. You create authority. A lot of people get to know your quality of writing without having to pay for it. You collect emails. Imagine having a list of 10,000 qualified leads laying around the day you want to launch. Email marketing is super underrated in 2021, yet it's one of the mediums that has the highest click-through rate. It's an incredible way to reach a target audience. Finally, you can choose to run paid ads. Paid ads is a great strategy. It's easy to set up and it's reliable. Services like Facebook and Google have made incredible marketing platforms and they are really, really good at targeting the right people. And even though Zuckerberg is becoming increasingly unpopular as time goes by, more people than ever are using Facebook's products. With Facebook's marketing platform, you get both Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, and WhatsApp. And Google AdSense covers YouTube and God knows how many web pages. Those two platforms alone literally cover almost the entire internet. And here's a fun fact. Surveys show that people are getting decreasingly negative towards ads. In fact, a lot of people are getting used to them. They trust them more and they increasingly use them to buy products. And the best part is, it's relatively cheap. You don't need a million dollar budget to run effective advertisement campaigns. The platform needs to spend a small initial amount to tune in on an audience, but that's totally within financial capacity for most people. There are a lot of other options out there, but the most important part is that you investigate and settle on one or two acquisition channels that you believe will convert. Don't overdo this though. Creating multiple channels isn't necessarily gonna increase your overall conversion rate, and it probably ends up becoming unmanageable, obfuscating data, and making the whole thing much more chaotic than it needs to be. So let me shortly sum up how I did this. I gave an ebook away for free to create trust, authority, and to collect emails. I created the monetized ebook and set up a website with Strive integration. I made agreements with a handful of big influencers in the tech Twitter space and had them retweet my launch announcement. I paid one huge Instagram influencer to promote the ebook. I sent out a discounted offer to my email list. Finally, I set up ad campaigns on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. In total, this resulted in $7,500 worth of sales in the first seven days, and the book still generates around $2,500 per month today. In part two of this video, I'll go into details about how I created an email drip sequence consisting of four emails that generated more than two thirds of all the sales. And I'll show you how I set up conversion campaigns on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I'll also cover how to create a great launch post that pops out and converts. Please take a second to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss part two. Actually, this is definitely a good time to hit that little bell icon as well so you'll get notified when it's out. I'll see you soon for part two.